Hey everyone, this is Fox, and today's Tinker video is about finding a warmer alternative to an outdoor snowball fight. We are going to show you how to build a small catapult that you can use to launch mini imitation snowballs or cotton balls inside the house. To make your catapult, you will need 10 jumbo craft sticks, something a little bit wider than your normal ones several rubber bands, a pair of scissors, glue, hot glue or craft glue will work, and something that will hold your projectiles. We're going to use a bottle cap. First, we are going to construct the base of our catapult by stacking eight craft sticks and tightly winding a rubber band at each end. Next, use the scissors to cut two notches at one end of your remaining two craft sticks. Ask an adult to help, as this can be tricky with child scissors. This takes a gentle hand, so don't be upset if your first attempt causes splinters or breaks off more than you want. Slide one of the notched craft sticks between the first and second layer on the stack, like this. Adjust so that the notched end is closer to the base. The notched side of the stick is the front of your catapult. Place the other notched craft stick on top of the base so that the notched ends line up. Wind a rubber band around the two sticks at the notches. Those notches help the rubber band stay in place. Be sure not to wind this rubber band as tightly as the other two. We should have a flexible hinge that doesn't apply so much pressure that it snaps the sticks. If you're having trouble winding the rubber band around those two notch sticks, you can try adding that rubber band before inserting them into the stack. Glue your bottle cap or other holder at the end of the stick resting on top. Wait until the glue has completely dried before launching anything. A catapult is a simple machine that launches a projectile by converting and transferring potential energy. To launch, use one hand to hold down one side of the catapult, place your projectile in the holder, gently bend back, and release. What do you think would happen if we used more or fewer sticks in the base of the design? Or if we changed the length of the arm? How could you make a bigger catapult? What kinds of materials would you use to make one that launched a real snowball? Maybe you should save the real snowballs for playing outside. Thank you for joining us in the Tinker Shop. See you next time.